what is happening what is going on you absolute bunch of legends what i'm going to do in this video it's not going to be a tutorial but what i thought i would do is just talk to you a little bit about the node wrangler extension slash add-on in blender and why it's so powerful why you have to enable it if you haven't already i'm pretty sure most of you do use it but i just thought i would just talk a little bit about it and just explain the different ways you can use it because it's pretty powerful and it's some of the ways you probably might not even know about so what i'm going to do first is i'm going to show you how to use it with a environment texture so if i click here let's uh what we can actually do is shift a mesh and add a plane okay so i'm going to scale it up somewhere like this and something like that all right now i'm going to go to world and I click on them and I go to environment texture. Now let's go here. And click here and you can see everything is obviously pink. So we need to add an environment texture. And I've added an HDR so you can see there. What you can now do is if you go to shading. So let's say you've got a view and you're looking like this. But you want to move these clouds. So you want to move it up or down or rotate them. How do you do that? This is where the Node Wrangler add-on comes in handy. You go to shading and I'm just going to go here and I'm going to click here and do this. Now, you're just going to hit here and go to world. All right. And you're going to just click on your HRI, your environment texture, hit control T. And obviously, I should probably tell you, if you don't have the Node Wrangler add-on, you're just going to click there, go to preferences, go to get extensions and just type in node and it will come up here obviously mine doesn't because once you find it you just click install mine doesn't because i've already got it installed so if i click there there we go now let's say i want to move these clouds so on the z-axis 150 moves the clouds like that so it moves it in like a circular motion let's say i want to move this up five and you can see now i've got a nice even so this moves it like that and you can see i can move it down and same thing here, I've got 250 and it moves it around. So this is what I mean by how powerful it is, especially with with the environment texture like your HDRIs because a lot of times if you don't know how to do that, you don't know how to move it around, you'll have to move your whole scene if you want the clouds in a certain way. So in my opinion, probably one of the most underrated ways to use the Node Wrangler add-on is this way. Now, let's go back to layouts. And I'm going to open up a, and I've got a material here, so you can see here, click there. And I've got this kind of cool looking material. If I go to shading, and let's go here, you can see what it looks like. Now, what you could always do, is you can see I've got this here. If I click on a noise texture, and I hit Control T, that enables a Node Wrangler add-on. And now, what you can do, is it allows you to rotate the blue so you can see it's moving the blue and same thing here so if i click on this one i go control t same thing you'll see now moves the red so it allows you to have more flexibility of moving things you can move the scale same thing location same thing so this is what I mean. It's powerful. In my opinion, it's powerful with your materials, but it's just as powerful with your environment texture. You know, when I showed you earlier, the moving the clouds, moving your HDRI to where you want it. You can move this. And these are probably the best two ways that I use the Node Wrangler add on in Blender. There's obviously more ways to use it, but for me, these are the two that I know about or well, that I use. So I thought I'll just show you. And I'm sure you've got it installed, but I thought I'd just give you a little bit more backstory of how to use it and just give you a little bit more information on it. Hopefully you found this video interesting. Hopefully maybe you didn't know about the environment texture to move the clouds. I think a lot of people don't know about that method. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out Blender Kit, 10% off, link in the description, and check out the Patreon. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. See you in the next video. Peace.